Hello everyone, we're here at the National Maritime Museum in Sydney. My name is Jeff, I'm an education officer here. We have a very exciting project coming up soon. Uh, we're taking the replica of our ship HMV Endeavour to Lord Howe Island to look at something called the Transit of Venus. Uh, now we need an expert to help us find out all about that. So we have Carlos from the Sydney Observatory here and, uh, and he's going to help us work through what that means. So Carlos, what is the Transit of Venus? The Transit of Venus is a rare astronomical event where from the Earth's point of view, the planet Venus crosses in front of the Sun. It's a very rare event because it happens in pairs of eight years, but then it doesn't happen for 100 years or so. So we are right now about to enter the second of a pair. That means that the next one is going to be in 2117. So we won't have the chance to see it and probably our kids won't and uh, maybe the kids of our kids will. The Maritime Museum organized a trip to Lord Howe Island in the Endeavour, which is the replica of the ship Captain Cook used to, to visit Australia the first time. What we are planning to do is to sail for six days or five days, depending on the wind, and to set an observation post on Lord Howe Island. So it's a very exciting time because we are going to follow the steps of Captain Cook. Uh, we're not going to go to Tahiti, but um, we're going to go to an island and we're going to set up an observation post there. I'm going to be the astronomer on the ship, which I'm very, very happy to do, I'm very honored. And um, we're going to be streaming live the images from the island uh, through the internet. So it's a, it's a modern twist on an, old, on an old gig. While on Lord Howe Island, we are planning to set up uh, two telescopes, one of them observing directly so that we can actually look at the transit with the right filters. And the other one is going to be filming and streaming directly through the internet. There's going to be another telescope uh, on the school on Lord Howe Island and the idea is that we will be able to time the entrance and the exit. This is called the four contacts when the planet enters and when it's fully inside and the same at the other end. We're going to time these four contacts and we're going to use that to recreate the calculations of the distance between the Earth and the Sun. It's important to remember that looking at the sun can be very bad for your eyes and especially in an event like this that you will try to actually look and identify things in it. So to avoid that, there are glasses that can protect your eyes and they are actually fairly cheap and they are easy to find. And uh, that will allow you to see without telescopes, but with the right protection, the disk of the sun and the small disk of Venus crossing it without any risk for your eyes. 